Hey guys and gals, it's Shane Simmons here with Real Appalachia with Shane Simmons and I'm about to show you a video about McRoberts, Kentucky and Letcher County but before then, I'm going to wait for you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and, and then we'll get started. And I'll wait all day if I have to. I'm waiting for you. Go ahead. We'll just sit here in awkward silence. You think I'm bluffing so help me God, I'll sit here all day if I have to. Okay, I'm bluffing. Well, why don't you think about subscribing? Is it going to kill you? You act like it's going to break your finger or something. Anyway, let me get into McRoberts. Now, McRoberts was in Letcher County, Kentucky. And just like Jenkins, it was built purely for the coal industry. There was no McRoberts in existence. They actually brought in a uh, brickyard and everything else to help construct all the homes, the uh, company store, and all the other things to go with the church and everything that goes with having a company town. So McRoberts was, it was actually named for a man named Samuel McRoberts and he was a New York City banker and he was a company director for Consolidation Coal Company which is no stranger to that area or this area in general. So Consol actually is still in existence even today. But um, looking at McRoberts, it was 19 and 12 they created it 1914 the mines had 1600 miners working and that's just that's just the miners the men themselves plus what other wives and children and whatnot not were in the town then it actually grew to around 2500 just a couple years later 1916 and then in the 1920s it also still had a peak of about 2600 miners which is a ma massive operation and of course, like the rest of the coal towns in our area, same song and dance that boom, bust, boom, bust, finally, mostly bust. And there's still there's several people live there today, but it's not, it's like the old gray mare. It ain't what it used to be. But without further ado, I'll let you guys get into the video of McRoberts, but I'll give you one last chance to subscribe. Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, you're going to watch some more of these. I don't care. You don't have to like me, but if you like McRoberts, Kentucky, you need to do this See ya. Shane Simmons, The Appalachian Project, and I'm in McRoberts, Kentucky, and I'm right now at the Church of God MPGT in McRoberts. I'll get rolling down through here. Very interesting little coal area. I've never been here before, so bear with me, and if I say something wrong, don't cuss me and threaten to kill me or burn my house down, threaten my family. I'll just try to give you a shot of that, and if... Uh, anyone who's familiar with McRoberts can chime in in the comments that would be greatly appreciated because this is a very fascinating place and there's a, obviously a big story behind it but one that I'm not qualified to tell. As we go through here you'll see uh, again McRoberts heavily based on coal clearly. So a little bit outside of Fleming Neon but you can see several houses that come up they're, they're very clearly the old coal camp type houses where they're uh, almost virtually no yard built on the same floor plan and we'll head that way um, Gravis actually seems to cover a pretty good area too this is pretty large pretty large camp at one time Let's see more of the actual Can't be part soon. This is Tom Biggs Road for people familiar with the area. Not to be confused with Big Tom's Road or Tom's Big Road. It's Tom Biggs. That's his name. There's a road sign to prove it. This actually doubles back into Fleming Neon. Um, I'm turn up here in a few, just a minute or two, but hopefully I'll be able to. When we put this to Facebook, I'll, I'll have more. I, knowledge about this place. I usually like to research before I get somewhere, but I actually took a wrong turn and ended up here, so. And it's definitely too interesting to pass up. Took a 
picture of this neat thing up here. It's Mountain Outreach. They also have a little uh, dedication, communal type thing that's dedicated to miners in the area. And here to the left is a clear case of telltale housing that's built very close together and uh, you know, on the same floor plan. Still very well populated too for the you don't see that many camps like this that still have a lot of people living in them and very few of the houses are gone relative to most of them anyway. Here is a post office. Back this way. That was the McRoberts post office. Let's see what's going down on this road. This looks more recently developed. A lot of it. There's the McRoberts Missionary Baptist Church. It's like a World War One and Vietnam War of Korea War. It looks like a war memorial here, so. Yeah, the Ten Commandments. Somebody actually requested us to go to McRoberts before, so I'm glad I'm finally fulfilling that wish by accident, but better done than not. Robert's United Pentecostal Church. Well, that's on the right. I'm sorry. This is the Free Will Baptist Church. Right here. But we'll get a look at this Pentecostal Church. It's kind of a neat little building. Looks like Moore's Chapel is what this is called. Restaurant, that's pretty cool. This video may be a blessing to several of you as I don't you don't have to hear me talk too much. That's uh it's a good thing, probably. So, I just want to give you a little shot of McRoberts. Like I said, I've had several people ask for this before, and uh, 
just wasn't familiar with enough where it was at or anything before now, but I'm glad I came down through here. It's a very interesting place, and it's uh, got a lot going on. A lot more so than uh, most of your cold camps around. Some of my video is about to cut off, but I'll keep rolling until it does.